so uh, I'm really hairy and you know that's cool I learned to live with it but sometimes I don't want the hair on my face so here's how I turn myself from a woolly mammoth into a hairless cat aka how I remove my facial hair using a piece of thread and look I'm not here to waste your time so let's get right into it obviously for threading you do want to use a piece of thread but I'm going to show you on this length of twine just so it's a little bit easier so start by cutting a piece that's about 18 to 24 inches and then tie a super basic knot on the open end to form a loop. I always tie it twice just so it's really secure. Once you have your loop, you're going to want to put it in your hand like this so that your fingers are covering the knot. And then take your right hand and twist it forward 5 to 7 times. So that's one twist, that's two twists. And doing this twist is what forms the blade that's eventually going to pluck out the hair. And then all you do is you're going to want to open and close your hand and this moves the twist across the skin. And as the twist moves across the skin, it plucks out a hair. So here's a couple strings just to show you what it would look like. As you can see, the twist grabs the hair and it plucks it out from the root. And that's literally it. You don't even have to buy anything. Just use any con sewing thread. It's no chemicals, all natural. And it's really not that hard, right? In terms of skincare, before I thread, I just wash my face. This one is like $3 from Walmart. And then after you thread, your skin is super sensitive. So use something that's very nourishing and all natural. I like castor oil. I mean, now we got the basics covered. So go grab your thread and let's do this together. So start by cutting a length and then tying a knot at the side to give yourself a nice big loop and then stretch the loop across your hands and twist forward five to seven times. The more you twist, the bigger blade you have. I recommend starting with five and then you can work your way up. And all you do to remove the hair is you open and close your fingers to move the twist across. This motion feels kind of unnatural at the beginning because you're just not used to working those muscles, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And then another demonstration, the twist goes across the skin and twists and plucks out the hair from the root. It's like waxing in that sense, so the hair is not going to grow back for a couple weeks and when it does grow back it's going to have a nice tapered tip but different to waxing threading doesn't take off the top layer of skin so you can go over an area multiple times and it's really great if you have sensitive skin by the way when you're first starting i recommend starting on your forehead and then moving to the cheeks because those are the easiest and work in little patches you don't have to thread your entire face all in one day and some troubleshooting if you have really dry skin and you find that the thread is snagging it you can actually apply some moisturizer first and then thread over that this makes the thread go across it easier and it's supposed to hurt less but just make sure it's something that won't break you out because when you're threading your skin is super sensitive. On the other end, if your hairs are super short or stubborn and you feel like the thread can't get a good grip, you can put some cornstarch or baby powder. Different things work for different people, but when I thread, I like to do it just on clean, bare skin. If you have a hard time moving the thread, try moving just your dominant hand. Sometimes getting one direction down is easier. Okay, if you have any really thick or stubborn hairs so that the thread isn't able to grab, just twist the thread a couple more times and this makes the blade longer. Also, don't keep doing these quick motions. It's going to hurt a lot more. It's a lot better if you hold the thread against your skin and go kind of slow. I know a lot of you want to learn to thread so you can do your own eyebrows. I don't recommend starting with eyebrows because they're a little bit finicky, but I've been doing my own eyebrows for years. And I think the main thing is when you're threading under the brows, make sure you're lifting up your eyebrows. You're not going to get cut. And remember, whichever direction you open is the way that the thread is going to go. Honestly, you have all the skills to shape your eyebrows, but just be careful. I recommend starting at the top, and if you want a more in-depth video for eyebrow shaping, let me know. Threading also has a lot of other benefits besides just removing the hair. I had a lot of hyperpigmentation like around my lips and my cheeks, and I found that removing the hair kind of removed the dark cast and really brightened everything up. Also, it's a much smoother texture for like makeup application. And threading also exfoliates the skin, so I find after I thread, my skin is like super plump and I'm not as prone to breakouts. I also get a lot of questions about why it hurts so bad, and that's because when you wax, you're removing maybe like 60 to 70% of the hairs, but when you're threading, you're getting literally every single baby hair. So the first time you thread, it's going to hurt really bad because you're removing hairs you didn't even know you had, but after the first time, those hairs don't grow back, and the hairs that do grow back, grow back thinner and slower, so over time, I've noticed a huge reduction so that's why it doesn't hurt anymore and I wish I had some pictures I was so hairy that you could like rub your hand against my face and you would like feel the fur <laughs> that's my gecko I also just use cotton sewing thread but you can also buy like special threading threads from your Indian stores so you can try that I think I covered everything if you try it let me know how it goes and I'll see you in the next one